Hello and welcome to Blend On. My name is Andrew Scheel and I'm going to give you a quick um, explanation because it's not really a tutorial on how I made that Minecraft animation with the limbs because if you noticed the mesh doesn't intersect and I've used no weight painting and altogether if I tab into edit mode you can see that there's only 80 vertices just 80 vertices making the lowest poly Minecraft character I have ever seen not that I watch Minecraft Minecraft or play it neither um, okay so all the ones in blue the lower limbs they have their boolean modifier cage on the red attached to the red the upper limbs and all the ones that you see in red have their boolean modifier cage here so if I switch on the booleans you can see what you would do is just let me grab that to make the boolean cage it's very simple tap into edit mode select the whole thing go into wireframe with shift Z and alt Z for x-ray and then shift D and then scale it just a little bit alt S 0 0.005 yeah that's the gap I use you can use a different size if you like but I like this size and then you want to separate it P separate selection and when you tap back into object mode let me just give it a, any name what you want to do is come over to object properties and put that on wire so it can be seen and there you go and you can even give it a color if you want and once you've done that for all of these limbs one two three four five you've made your boolean modifier then you need to then you can put the rig on and each cube is parented to the bone that is on it that is that it is with so you will have to select these two this cube and the boolean cage then shift select the armature control tab into edit mode and then control p parent to bone relative so then everything is moving together and then you want to take select the limb and give it let's delete this a boolean modifier let's go to generate boolean make sure you put it on fast I don't know why but it doesn't work properly on exact then you select the eyedropper you find this funny name whatever I called it here and then you click the eyedropper and then when you t select let's go back into and then when you go into pose mode let's go overlays and R Y and then you can see you have the boolean there and as you can see it's not intersecting and there you go so for some reason it doesn't work on exact so you have to put it on fast the gap you set between each building is up to you I find that this gap works very very nice for me 
um, and remember there's only 80 vertices it's very very low poly and fully animated and if you want to go the extra mile what you can do is here's another one turn this one off I'll turn that one off but this one has arms hands and feet and the neck so there you go with a neck there you go with your hands some feet how far you go with this is totally up to you yeah so that's it let me know what you think thank you for watching Peace.